welcome to Telugu One Academy. In today's uh, Andhra Pradesh geography, we're going to look into district profiles of Andhra Pradesh. So now coming to the food grains production and other agriculture and allied crops services. So coming to agriculture, paddy. How much? Six lakh sixty-five thousand million tons of paddy production has been done. How much? Six thousand. Six lakh sixty-five thousand million tons of paddy production. What is the gra gross value added? Thousand crores have been added. Next, coming to sugar cane. Uh, what's the contribution of sugar cane? Four lakh sixty-five thousand million tons of sugar cane production. Gross value added. How much the gross value added? Seventy-four crores of gross value has been added. to agriculture gddp or gddp of the state now coming to horticulture so uh, what is the production of horticulture coming to coconut 2 lakh 49000 million tons of coconuts has been produced in the year 2 lakh 49000 uh, coconuts has been produced how much value has been added 225 crores of gross value is added how much 225 crores next tomato 1,78,859 million tons of tomatoes has been produced how much 1,78,859 million tons how much is has been added 260 261 crores have been added to the gross value Next, coming to livestock, uh, cattle, milk. How much? Four lakhs forty-five thousand million tons of milk has been produced. It has added six hundred eighty-five crores to the gross value. It has added six hundred eighty-five crores to the gross value. Next, meat. Seven thousand million tons of meat has been produced. Seven thousand million tons of meat has been produced. It has added eighty-six crores of gross value. Now come to fisheries, marine fish. Forty-eight thousand nine hundred eighty-four million tons of fishes has been added, has been produced. It has added three thirty crores of value. Three thirty crores of gross value. Marine fish added three thirty crores. now coming to inland fish inland fish marine fish means fish uh, we catch from the seas inland fish means uh, rivers ponds lakes or on any inland water bodies so inland fishes 10822 million tons of inland fish has been produced like it added 41 crores of gross value it added 41 crores of gross value to the district so industries and other services construction business have done nearly it added nearly 1630 crores to the industrial sector how much 1630 crores to the industrial sector now coming to manufacturing sector it added 1050 crores of uh, value added to crores to the manufacturing sector next major minerals Like manganese or other minerals, four hundred twelve crores of worth value, gross value has been added in the mineral sectors or the major minerals. Service uh, services, ownership of dwelling. With the ownership of dwellings, how much value has been added to the GDP of the Sri Kakulam district? Means one thousand five hundred twelve crores has been. Added to the ownership uh, to the G, uh, GDP of Sri Kakulam district. Next, coming to education through education through education like uh, establishing new dental colleges or medical colleges, engineering colleges, at the pharmacy colleges. Through this, one thousand four hundred nineteen crores have been added to the GDP of the Sri Kakulam district. now coming to the demographics in a uh, like in a major crux so what's the population of district of shikakulam 
population is 26.9 lakh population. How much? 26.9 lakh population in Srikakulam district. In that, how many males do possess? 13.4 lakh males and 13.5 lakhs of female. 13.4 lakh male population, 13.5 lakh female population. So, what is the literacy rate of Shikakulam district? It is only 61.7%. 61.7% is the literacy rate of Shikakulam district. Now, coming to urbanization. Only 16% to people live in the urban areas of Shikakulam district. How much? 16.2% means only 16% people do live in the urbans. So, Population-wise, how and uh, which rank it do stands? It stands twelfth position in population-wise. It uh, in the state of AP. In AP, it stands twelfth position. It ranks twelfth in population. What is the population of Chicago? Twenty nine point somewhat six lakh population, and in density. In density, it stands third. Population, it stands twelfth. It is almost last but one. It almost last but one in coming to population. But density is higher in uh, Srikakulam district. So, in sex ratio, it stands second in sex ratio. We have seen hardly there is a difference between male and females. Because... 13.4 lakh uh, male population and 13.5 lakh female population. Even female are more in number than comparatively male. So, it stands second in sex ratio. So, uh, literacy, again, literacy, it's, uh, uh, education is very poor in Srikakulam district. We have seen already uh, like, uh, due to infrastructures or other uh, reasons. So, it stands 11th almost last near to the last means in 13 districts 11th means see where does it stands next in decadal growth rate in deca decadal growth rate means increase increase in population how much increase in population for every 10 years means in every 10 years, how much population is being added? How much population is being added is called decadal growth rate. It stands 10th position. It stands, Shrikakulam stands 10th position in decadal growth rate. So, in area which we, uh, we have seen, Shrikakulam is the smallest uh, district in AP. Obviously, it stands 13th. That is last it is the last district in area which it has the smallest district in ap in the area wise means shikakulam district so what is the area of shikakulam coming to the square kilometers 5837 square kilometers is the total area of shikakulam district so 5837 is the total area of the Srikakulam district. So, population in numbers, we have already seen 27.26.9. Uh, so, it coming to 22 crores 7 lakhs 3014. How much? It has 2000, 2 crores 70,000 population. So, growth rate, in growth rate it stands 6.52%. Sex ratio, 1015. It, it denotes that for every 1000 males, there are 1015 females. For every 1000 males, there are 1015 females in Shrikakulam district. Means, that's the reason it stands second in sex ratio. Female, uh, number of female are more than comparatively males. So, density. We have seen that uh, density also stands third. So, how many people live in a 
square kilometer that is 463 people density of the Shrikakulam district is 463 next literacy 61.74 percent in that in that how many uh, what's the percentage of male literacy what's the percentage of female literacy 71 percent is the male literacy 52 percent is the female literacy so urban population 16.16 obviously if 16 percent 16 percent of people are living in urban means the rest are in the rural zone you know? the rest are rural population so the rural population is 83.84 percent so what is the forest extent of Shrikakulam district forest extent forest area how much forest cover it do have how much green cover the district of Shrikakulam do possess that is 686 square kilometers 600 that it comes under nearly 11.75 percent of the total district so child death rate 47 I mean per every uh, thousand childs children 47 child mortality rate so these are the demographics of district of Shrikakulam population uh, it stands second in it stands second in uh, sex ratio it stands third in density and in coming other to its uh, other uh, statistics it ranks 10th, 11th, 12th or 13th even last one so now coming to the administrative details of Shrikakulam district I mean what is uh, administrative headquarters revenue mandals gram panchayats uh, revenue uh, mandal parishads or uh, towns municipalities how many number it do have so administrative headquarters of Shrikakulam is Shrikakulam Shrikakulam is a town this is the administrative headquarters of Shrikakulam so how many revenue divisions it do have it does have three revenue divisions Shrikakulam district has three revenue divisions and uh, towns it, it has 12 towns it has 12 towns how many mandal parishads 12 38 mandal parishads it has 38 mandal parishad even revenue mandals are also 38 only how many municipalities it does have three municipalities and gram panchayats 1099 gram panchayats so how many revenue villages it has have 18 not 2 1800 near 1802 revenue villages how many primary health centers it has only 76 primary health centers primary health center means small small hospitals government hospitals next what is the average rainfall of Shrikakulam district that is 1161.6 millimeters is the average rainfall of Shrikakulam district now coming to the other upcoming projects of Shrikakulam district so, uh, what's the government uh, of Andhra Pradesh has planned for uh, Shrikakulam district? So, new industrial city in the district. As we've seen, government have planned a new industrial city in the district. And uh, Literage Port, Literage Port in Kalinga Patnam. A uh, Literage Port in Kalinga Patnam. And next, Pied Bhimaram Industrial Node in VCIC Corridor. What is this VCIC Corridor? Vishakapatnam. Vishakapatnam, Chennai Industrial Corridor. Industrial Corridor. So it does have so many nodes. Shrikaku, in that, in Shrikakulam, this Paidi Bhimavaram is the industrial node in this corridor. This is a long corridor. So Paidi Bhimavaram comes under the node of this. BCIC. Uh, next is a greenfield airport to be developed. A greenfield airport to be developed. Next tourism circuits covering uh, Telinilapuram. It's a bird sanctuary. Next Buddhist monuments, Barua Beach. These are the tourists to be yet to be developed. Next one is school of planning and architecture. 
has yet to come. School of Planning and Architecture has yet to come. So these are the upcoming projects or new projects for, for the development of district of Shrikakulam. So now coming to tourism. What are the tourist attractions of the district of Shrikakulam? So uh, district of Shrikakulam has very ancient uh, tourist places like Arasaveli, uh, Sugranara Swami Temple, next uh, Sri Mukhalingam, uh, what do you call this, Sri Kurmam. These are very old uh, devotional religious tourism places in the district of Shrikakulam. So Arasaveli, it is a sun temple. After Konar, this is the only sun temple. Arasaveli sun temple is the only temple in India primarily dedicated to the sun god in an active service. As we know that Konark is not an active service. Konark sun temple is also dedicated to sun god. But it is not an active service. Means uh, no pujas have been performed in the Konark temple. That is only for the historical or a monumental structure. It has become so. But in Arsavali Surinara Swami temple, still like every day you see, uh, daily on the daily basis activities have been or pujas have been performing. So that's the reason it is the only dedicated sun temple where active services have been done. Next, Shri Kormam temple. Shri Kormam temple. Shri Kormam temple is a such a kind of temple dedicated to the Lord Vishnu, the second Dasavatara of Lord Vishnu. As we know that the Lord Vishnu have 10 Dasavataras like uh, Matsya, Kurma, Varaha. So, this is a second Dasavatara of Lord or Bhagwan Vishnu. So, it is totally dedicated to Bhagwan Vishnu where you can see so many uh, turtles, uh, old turtles and tortoise in, in a very good number. So, Sri Kurma is also historically and religiously very famous place. Now, coming to Sri Mukhalinga. Shri Mukhalingam as a, uh, is a uh, religious place, is a temple near Hiramandalam, a place called Hiramandalam where it, this is dedicated to Bhagwan Shiva. It is dedicated to Bhagwan Shiva. People say that it has nearly uh, 9,99,999 uh, Shivalingas. If one lingam is added means it will be equivalent to Kasi of the Uttar Pradesh or Banaras. It will be equivalent to or, or more pious or powerful like uh, Kashi. Sri Mukhaling is also a very religious and old historical place or tourist attraction in Srikakulam district. Next, Buditi, Buditi is a place which is very famous for metal works which is famous for metal works. Next, Sri Sita Ramaswamy temple, it is near to Shrikakulam town. Town, hardly of 50 or 60 kilometers. This is also very famous place. Next, Mandasa. Another one is Mandasa. That is Mahendragiri fort. Is located where one of the highest forts in India. Mandasa is a place where Mahendragiri uh, fort is located. So one of the highest ports in India, forts in India. Next is Salihundam. Salihundam is a place, it's an ancient Buddhist stupas where a star-like stupa, a star-like stupa has been constructed on the Buddhist monument. So see, this is the Salihundam Buddhist stupa. If you observe, there is a star formation on the top of this stupa. This is a very historical and Buddhist uh, attraction. And this is Arasavelli Suranarana Swami temple. This is Arasavelli Suranarana Swami temple. That is a sun temple. And this is Sri Kurmam. Sri Kurmam which is dedicated to Bhagwan, second avatar of Dashataram of Bhagwan. Vishnu and this is Sri Mukhalingam where 99,999 uh, Shivalingams have been fixed in this temple. So these are the tourist attraction of the some of the important tourist attractions of Shrikakulam districts. 
Now coming to the political divisions of Srikakulam district. Uh, parliamentary and assembly constituencies. How many parliamentaries do, do it do consist? Or how many assembly constituencies it do consist? Srikakulam has only one parliamentary constituency. It has only one parliamentary constituency. Means from Srikakulam district, we can have only one MP. One MP from Srikakulam district. It has 10 assembly constituencies. How many? 10 assembly constituencies. It means that 10 MLAs do come from Shikakulam district. We will have 10 MLAs from Shikakulam and 1 MP from Shikakulam. So, uh, which areas include in this parliamentary constituencies are Shikakulam town, Ichapuram town, Palasa, Narsanapeta, Palakonda, Pathapatnam, Shrikakulam and Echarla. So, these, these regions come under Shrikakulam parliamentary constituencies. How many constituencies? Only one constituency. That means only one MP from Shrikakulam or member of parliament from Shrikakulam. Uh, how many assembly constituencies? 10 assembly constituencies. That means 10 MLAs from Shrikakulam district. Who are the important personalities from this district? Uh, well known or important personalities of from this district. First one is Kodi Ramurthy Naidu. So everybody have heard about him. Hope so. Uh, he is called as Hercules. Hercules of India. Who is Hercules by the way? Um, in the Greek mythology, uh, there is a person you, uh, used to call as Hercules a person who lifted the earth and he is so strong he is so masculine that he lifted the earth on his shoulders means if a person who is strong enough or who is a very well built body then he is compared with Hercules so Mr. Kodi Ramurthy Naidu is one of his such as strongest person um, he even stopped the train with his teeth he stopped the running train with his teeth means they attached some rope, they tied some rope to the train and he hold those uh, rope with his teeth and he stopped the running train. He is so strong that he can lift heavy weights. So that's the reason he is called as Indian Hercules. He even received the title of Vijaya Maha Shastra Acharya. He received the title of Vijaya Maha Shastra Acharya. So, Kodi Ramurthy Naidu is very famous for uh, strong built body and heavy lifting. Next other personality is Gautu Lachanna. Gautu Lachanna is a very uh, well known famous personality. He is the founder of, he is the founder of Krishikar Lok Party, Democratic Party. He is the founder of Krishikar Lok Party and Democratic Party. He is, he is uh, one of the minister of the first assemblies. He is the first labor minister of the first assembly of Andhra Rashtra. Not Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Rashtra. Andhra uh, Pradesh is different, Andhra Rashtra is different. So, he worked as a labor minister in the first assembly of Andhra Rashtra. So, he even took part in the Quit India movement and Sol Satyagraha uh, which were led by Mahatma Gandhi which were led by Mahatma Gandhi. So he is a freedom fighter uh, who started a Krishika Lok, Krishika Lok Party and Democratic Party. He is the first labor minister in the first assembly of Andhra Rashtra. Next other important personalities are Garimala Satyan Narayana. Garimala Satya Narayana. Uh, uh, he is famous for, he penned a very famous song against British rule. Adi, Ma Koddu Yi Tella Dora Tanamu. Ma Koddu Yi Tella Dora Tanamu was written by Garimala Satya Narayana. So, uh, in the freedom, in the freedom movement, there is no need that everyone should go and participate and fight with the British in a direct way. Even literary, they, uh, there are so many literatures which uh, aggravated, 
activated the people and which uh, in, uh, developed the interest of freedom fighting. So he comes under this category. So what is the famous song he wrote against British is Ma Kuddi Tella Dora Tanumu. This can be a bit. Magodhi Telladora Tanamo was written by Karimala Satinarayana. He even started Sharda Grandalaya. Sharda Gandalaya in the year 1926 in Priyagrahara village. He even started Sharda Grandalaya in the year 1926 in Priyagrahara village. Next one is Gidugu Ramurthi Pantalu. Uh, he is a pioneer of colloquial language. Ademana Vyavahara Basha. Ante he fought for literature should be in a uh, colloquial language or Vyavahara. Ante literature Grandikam Loka Kunda Vyavaharika Basha Lonte Prati Okadiki the Cheru Lontundi. Grandikam Chala Kastavana Basha. Grandikam Andariki Ardhamodu Andariki Talakekadu. So Vyavaharika Ante Vyavaharika Basha and Timana Roju Mata Kune Basha. Daily manu a language la manad kunta ho. Ala ka kunda grandi ka unte books la unde khatti na maino bhasha telugu bhasha. So gidi ko Ramurthi Pantul ka aim chese rante literature lani paper gani literature gani a books gani even education matto grandi ka lo ka kunda vyavahari ka bhasha la unda lani chappi ina chala poora deyro. So he is the father of uh, pita maha of vyavahara bhasha matra. So, Gidugu Ramurthi Pantulu. He is a pioneer of colloquial language or Vyavaharika Bhasha. Next, Karanam Malleshwari. Karanam Malleshwari, she is born in Chittur but settled in Shrikakulam district. She is born in Chittur district but settled in Shrikakulam district. Everybody knows that she is the famous, uh, famous female weightlifter which have won so many model, medals and uh, made our country proud. So, she is from Chicago district. She received even Khel Ratna award for her, uh, for her performance in 54 kg, 54 kg category in Istanbul in 1994. In Istanbul in 1994. So, this is all about the Chicago district. Once again, we will uh, see through like uh, what are the things to be noted here are like um, boundaries, what are the boundaries it share with uh, population wise like sex ratio, next area wise it stands in which rank, who are the famous personalities, it borders with uh, what is the last place of Shrikakulam district, how many Parliamentary constituencies are there. How many assembly constituencies are there? So, this is the profile of the Shrikakulam district. So, uh, that's all for today. Thank you.